It's the start of another brand new week. Good morning. I'm Harriet Agbini. This is Business Morning, live on Channels Television, your home for the news. Now let's start the show and take a look at some of the issues that are making headline. Of course, starting today, Nigeria's Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, begins a series of meetings with stakeholders in the Niger Delta. He kicks off the meeting in Delta State with a series of interactive engagements with oil-producing communities, and as part, this is also part of the federal government's renewed effort to resolve crisis in that region. Also, we're tracking for you and it's trending industrialist in Africa's richest businessman, Aliku Dangote, is reportedly planning a truck assembly plant at a cost of $100 million in Lagos in partnership with a Chinese company, National Heavy Duty Truck Group or Sino Truck. Now, the plant will produce thousands of haulage trucks due to which due to forex scarcity impacting imports of heavy-duty trucks has cost millions of dollars for the industrial group. Also coming this week, the Debt Management Office plans to sell 130 billion naira worth of FGN bonds at its first debt auction for the year 2017. So, of course, already we see investors taking a very cautionary stance towards bonds. We'll take a look at those numbers in just a bit. Also coming up this week, the Time Economics holds the Nigeria Economic Conference in collaboration with the Business Post to talk about what expectations will be for 2017 and, of course, preview 2016. 2016 was the year Nigeria fully went into recession. So... How is 2017 going to look like for most businesses and investors? Why don't you keep a date? Also, Alliance Global Corporate and Specialty Africa holds conference on top risk facing businesses in Nigeria, Africa and the world. So that ties in very nicely with the Nigeria Economic Conference by Time Economics. And, of course, uh, the Minister of Environment, Mrs. Amina Mohammed, speaks in Lagos, January 20. You want to keep a date? With, on that particular issue as well. And um, there seems to have been a mix-up there. Counting down to the first monetary policy meeting of the Central Bank of Nigeria, January 23 and 24, and not 25. Um, apologies there for the typo. So we have that at 23 and 24. But of course, the biggest issue that we're going to be talking about is the president's, the vice president's uh, um, meetings with the stakeholders in the Niger Delta, which kicks off today in Delta State. So we'll be taking a look at how this, of course, will be viewed uh, by investors. And we'll take a look at it from the markets, first of all. And then we'll get an industry look in with Dolakpo Oni, who is uh, the head of energy research at uh, Echo Bank. But Wale Lucy will be joining me on the program to kick off the conversation, kind of a curtain raiser on that particular issue. But let's take a look at... Um, the trading week just ended, starting, of course, with the FGN bonds. As I said, this week, the debt management office will be holding its first auction for the year, 130 billion naira on offer on all, all of the bonds that will be offered are reopenings of uh, previous issues. But from Friday, taking a look at the, the list that came in from the FMDQ OTC's market for FGN bonds, we have that uh, the most actively traded being the bond maturing on the 18th of March 2036 with 48 deals and a value of 4.8 billion Naira. Now, for the most of last week, the bonds market was uh, pressured, particularly on the short and uh, the short, mid and long dated bonds, even though we saw overall average yield uh, increasing about 18 basis points to close at 16.92% week on week. According to analyst report uh, from FBN Quest, from a bigger party from Cordros Capital, they expect investors to take a cue from the action stop rates of the bonds that will be offered this week, while the release of the December inflation figure, which accelerated to 18.55%, could further drive yields northwards. So at the end of trade on Friday, however, taking a look at um, the list from FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, we had total number of deals coming at 117, valued at 50.1 billion Naira. Now, for the Treasury bill space, that also closed on the bearish note for the week just ended. Even though there was OMO auction, there was also heavy liquidity mop-up 
attempted by the central bank on um, well during the week. But we saw the bills space closing bearish for the week. But for Friday, this is how those equities, about 28 of them, F uh, treasury bills on the FMDQ OTCs market. But these are the top four. We had the bills uh, maturing between the 16th of February and the 15th of June, most actively traded. You notice that investors still favoring mostly short to medium dated bills. And the most active was the bill maturing on the 16th of February 2017 with 143 deals. At the end of the, the day, 549, 41 deals were recorded in 400, in 148.09 billion Naira. And still taking a look at expectations from Cordros Capital, investment from Cordros Capital, Treasury bills are expected to also take, uh, investors are also expected to take a cue from the auction stop rates. The Central Bank of Nigeria will be offering about 195.97 billion Naira at a primary market auction across the 91, 182, and 364 day bills. And of course, uh, investors are expected to take a cue from auction stop rates. So, for the equities market, that's uh, finished mostly well facing north, even though we saw investors booking profit for most of last week that just ended. But at the end of the week, the all share index and market capitalization notched up 0.28% apiece to close at 26,325.93 and uh, 9.05 trillion naira respectively of course on the back of gains recorded across most of the indices including the banking banking index and industrial goods index as well but uh, they say analysts are not expecting any impressive performance in the markets this week as investors still take a very tepid stance towards trade activities came